power at their campaign events. But can those endorsements do any good than more than just generating buzz? Do they actually increase voter turnout? A new study looks into that very thing. Rahima Ellis has the story for us in tonight's breakdown. Megan the Stallion performing at Vice President Harris's rally in Atlanta. Go connect, go connect. Charlie XCX calling Kamala brat after her new hit album. That shout out went viral. On the other side, at last month's Republican National Convention, Kid Rock and Hulk Hogan taking the stage for former President Trump. Say fight, fight. Enough was enough. But do these celebrity endorsements actually make a difference? A new Harvard study shows they do. It really is a very powerful thing to have a celebrity get involved. For example, in 2018, Taylor Swift shared a single Instagram post with her then 112 million followers endorsing Democratic candidates and linking them to vote.org. 72 hours later, there were 250,000 new voter registrations. Does that translate into actual votes? Yes, we do see an increase in voter participation amongst these specific registrants. But it's not just for specific candidates. It impacts political and civic engagement overall, too. As Americans rank behind other developed democracies around the world, 31 out of 50 in terms of voter turnout, according to a Pew Research report. We did find that these individual celebrities are being really thoughtful to really help reach young people and help them understand the voting process, the deadlines, where to find their polling place, even what to wear to the polls. Celebrities stumping for political candidates, not a new phenomenon. Everyone is voting for Jack. Frank Sinatra putting out this campaign song for JFK in 1960. He is the one. Nearly 50 years later, Oprah supporting Barack Obama. It can take more than star power to move voters. Hillary Clinton had plenty of celebrity backing in 2016. We have to get out and make sure we vote. In the days leading up to the election, basketball superstar LeBron James joined her in Cleveland at one of her final rallies. Clinton went on to lose Ohio by eight points and the election. And it's not always about positive attention. Even before Vice President Harris was the Democratic candidate, A-list actor George Clooney joined the groundswell of calls for Joe Biden to step out of the race, even after backing and hosting multi-million dollar fundraisers for him. While most of Hollywood historically leans more liberal, some other high-profile Trump supporters include John Voight, Roseanne Barr, and Amber Rose, who also spoke at the RNC. The left told me to hate Trump, and even worse, to hate the other side, the people who support him. The Harvard study emphasizes that perceived authenticity is key to an endorsement mattering. Specifically, young people are mistrustful of elected officials and institutions that does not actually apply to celebrities. Our media diet has changed and the different uh, modes of communication, meeting voters where they are, and all of those endorsements could end up mattering. Something to keep in mind with polls still close, as we expect the Democratic National Convention in Chicago to be star-studded. Not everyone's a political expert, so sometimes an average voter wants to take cues from who to actually support an election. Sometimes it can be a neighbor, sometimes it can be a friend, and often it's a celebrity. Rahima Ellis, NBC News.